ready? Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ed. And I'm Mel. We are Ed, Ed, Mel. Ed Wallace. And today is all about Q&A. &A. On what, Mel? Questions that you guys asked yes. us. That we've received on all of our videos. We've been compiling a list of questions and we're going to answer them today. We let's figured we have enough to get going. Heck yeah. Let's we do it. We have a whole lot. So let's jump right in. So, so. So a needle pulling oh. thread. Someone asked us in uh, this video, why is Wallace's ear green? And the reason his ear is green is because it's the registration number um, because he's a registered Old English Sheepdog. Old English Sheepdog. Up in, in Canada, CKC. Yes. Plus, he's a registered American Kennel Club. Mm hmm. And he has a little tattoo here. And when we got him and took that video, which was like the first day we got him, his tattoo was really fresh. Mm -hmm. And it had the ink was kind of all over some of the hairs that were around it. And it kind of gave that green look. Yeah, so it was kind of yellow. Green because green. his number is in the shade of green that his ear was. So that's the reason why his ear was green when we got him. Where is Wallace's tail? Well, Wallace never came with a tail. No, never had He one. is a, a bald tail. Breed standard for an Old English Sheepdog is a dog tail. Um, if you go back and read a little bit of a history about the breed, a working dog did not have a tail, and a family dog, a pet, a pet had a tail. Had so a that's tail. You, that's how you told the difference between and a working had, dog and, and a non-working dog. And it had something to do with taxes. One got taxed and one didn't. I think right, I, don't, I could be. You wrong. can go do research from way back. And if you're really persistent and want a dog with a tail, some breeders will allow it. It's but something if you want, have that conversation. That covers it. Another question that we had a couple times was, what made you choose your YouTube name? Well, they're both nicknames. Well, yep. mine's a nickname and then Mel's is just Mel's short for Melanie, so. Yeah, my name is you Melanie. You kind of naturally so. call her Mel already. It's simply our nicknames, Ed, Mel. Yeah, Ed and Mel. exactly. It's about that easy. Another person asked, do Old English Sheepdogs shed, Ed? People say that Old English Sheepdogs shed. But they do not technically shed. They just lose their hair. They do. Their hair is very similar to human hair. Human hair. It never quits growing. Another reason why you have to brush it yes, continuously. Yes, it all just mats together. Yeah, you have to brush it to actually release any hairs that's loose that may be falling out that may cause mats. Yes. Old English sheepdogs do not shed. Nope. So I just want to fill it up. We got another question: Was how much time in a week do we spend grooming Wallace? Now that his hair is approximately in and around six inches, I would say we, me or you or both of us brush him on the daily. I probably brush right. him minimum a half hour, if not longer. He he really enjoys it. I don't mind doing it. I always find time. Uh, when his hair is shorter, you don't have to brush really him. Really nothing. Yeah, I would say when it's under two inches, you really don't have to worry about anything except the high traffic zones or keeping his, um, Beard white. His beard white. Like you'd want to keep that dry. Keep dry. Per week, it really varies on how long your dog's hair is. Scenario, we don't brush him all week. On that weekend, we usually, a day of the week where he gets a full groom is either Saturday or Sunday. And that typically, if and we were to brush not brush him all, all week. week with, and save it for that one. Yes, which is six inches long. We would be looking at about four hours to yeah. do a complete groom. And when we sit down, we definitely get those high traffic zones. We aim to get the whole body because that mm -hmm. way we know he's good for the next week. If, even if you miss this littlest area, that can become a troublesome area. And it hurts them too. Staying on with. top of it is the so, trick. The next question is, has Wallace ever bit you guys when you were brushing him? When he was a puppy, he did, and which puppy doesn't, I Every guess. Every puppy but, does. Um, a lot of dogs, you don't have to intensely brush, but we started brushing Wallace like as soon as, as pretty much we got, we got him. him. We didn't need to brush um, him when his yeah, hair is super his, short. His was it? It was so soft. Oh puppy, my Lord. puppy hair, or puppy amazing. fur is amazing. So, but we still kept it up. We still at least brushed him once a week, and he just got used to it. Yep. And then, now. He'll fall asleep his, when we Actually, his very first show is when we got his grooming table. 
Yeah. And man, that thing. That made a big difference. Yeah. It really helped he, us. He out. loves it. You know, he loves being up there. And he knows that when he's up there, we make it fun. We give him treats, give him lots of encouragement. Yep. And that and makes a big difference. He enjoys make being it a, up there. He'll sleep up there. He'll make it a fun good. experience. I believe this question is coming from across the pond. In Britain. In Britain. And they were wondering what length we would suggest them keep their Old English Sheepdogs here at. So what length in yes. Britain? Can just leave them at full length if you want. Um, just keep up on your grooming and, and you're good. Like, If it's a super hot day, you're going to notice your dog is uncomfortable, so bring them inside. If it's cold, too cold for them, bring them inside. But they got long hair, they're going to want to be outside when it's cold and they're going to want to be inside when it's warm. So you just kind of got to play it by ear and how your dog reacts to the weather that is that day. Also, I just want to add to that amazing answer. How much time can you commit to grooming? I mean, if you... Mm, that's an owner, yes. Yeah, I mean, long hair takes... A lot of work. A lot of work. It's not for everyone, not for the faint of heart, but it's something that can be enjoyable for both you and your dog. And we're not judging you if you clip your Old English Sheepdog too, because we live in a hot climate and we happen to clip our Old English Sheepdog during the summer. And that's nice because it's less maintenance and your dog's able to come Correct. everywhere with you and enjoy more things yeah. with you. It's completely up to you. Yeah. It really is it really when it is. comes down to it. So we got a question wondering if we ever heard of a slobber stopper H2O bowl. A water bowl that stops slobber? I have no idea what that is. Me neither. So we did a little research. And holy wow. doodle, where has that thing been? I know, like. I, I get, went out and ordered like, one. There's a picture here for you. Yeah, and I mean, wow. I'm really excited to get it and test it out because if it's as good as it looks, if it does what it says it does, yeah. I'm excited. Cool. Another question we got was, what is the weight and height of Wallace? Wallace's weight, it fluctuates between 95 pounds and a little over 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's about how yeah. much he weighs. Right now he's about 100 today. Yep. And his height to the front shoulder is 20, approximately 24 inches. Yeah. Oh, another question we got from our Costco video is, Dogs in Costco? Is that a U.S. thing? <laughs> yeah, it is. They're allowed in all Costco's in the U.S. Just kidding. No, they're no. Not. They're not allowed no. in any Costco. Dogs are not anywhere. allowed in Costco. But service animals, emotional support animals, animals with certification that are allowing them in buildings, they're all allowed in. How long does it take to wash a Wallace? And I'm assuming that includes drying. Go. Okay. So typically to wash Wallace, um, you can look at our bathing video. Oh we yeah, just we'll put it on a, a while here. ago. But um, typically it's from a full dirty to full dry, completely done, is you know, one to three hours ish. He a little longer now that his hair is longer. Yeah, obviously the longer his hair. If his hair is super short, we can whip that out in a half hour. Does Wallace? have an Instagram account. Sorry, Wallace specifically doesn't have an Instagram account. Oh, I'll stop you there. He has a hashtag. He does have an hashtag. Instagram, hashtag our dog Wallace. Yep. Ed and Mel as a channel, we are starting a Instagram account. Written right here. Right here, yep. Go check it out. We'll check it out. In the comments as well below. Well, that's it guys. We're at the end of today's video. We just want to thank you so much for leaving all the comments below. We love going through them, we love reading them. We and really we're so do. happy that we can throw all the questions together and put a video and answer them for you guys. That's the A to all the Q's we have up to this point. Yeah. But keep them coming because we enjoy answering. Really? So until next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>